Wither by Lauren de Stefano. Those viewers of you with the canniest of eyes will remember that Wither actually won my greatly sought after Dystopian of the Year award in my Books of 2011 video. Yet it won this without me having put up a review of it. The reason for this was because my copies, and yes I do mean to pluralise, had been cruelly stolen from my grasp. Simply put, person after person saw this book, demanded they borrowed it, and as such I didn't have a copy to show you and do a review with you on. However, just when you think you'll never see it again, two were returned to me. So now I could do two reviews for you. Although, one would just be a repeat of the other, so let's not do that. So, mm, Wither. I loved this book. I absolutely loved this book. Well, Stevie, why don't you start off by telling the good viewers why you bought it? Well, obviously I read a lot of well-researched reviews and added together the various stars and goods and greats and superbs it received. Did you, though? Okay, fine. I bought it because of the cover. But look at that cover. Look, it's so beautiful. Look at the bird in the cage. Ah, oh, just like, ah, oh, I want to lick it. I won't lick it. Yes, I broke the supreme rule of bookery. I judged a book by its cover. But only so much as I judged it worthy to buy by its cover. That's fine, right? Anyway, I was lucky. The book lived up to the expectations its cover demanded. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So in the future, the world has become polluted. For years and years now, no male child has been born who's lived past the age of 25, and no female past the age of 20. Some people are still desperately trying to find a cure, desperately trying to restore the old age of the past, but many have simply given in to this short-lived life of violence and looting, of taking what you want in the few years you can get it. Ryan is 16. She has four years left of life when the gatherers snatch her away from her twin. The gatherers steal young girls and either sell them into prostitution, kill them, or give them to rich families to bear children for their sons. Ryan avoids the guns and the brothels. She is sold with two other girls to be a rich boy's bride and bear him children as quickly as possible. Her new husband, Lyndon, has no idea of the violent world outside his mansion. He doesn't understand how rough life is, how easily death comes, and how his father might have a hand in all of it. There is a crucial difference, though, between Ryan and her sister brides. They have nothing left. No one left to live for or escape for. But Ryan knows her twin is still out there, and she vows she will escape for him. But getting out of the beautiful cage and returning home is more complex than she would have thought. The more she tries, the more she realises things aren't necessarily what they seem, and with one wrong move she'll end up dead before her four years are out. I was in every way absolutely amazed by this book. I loved everything about it, from the brilliantly poised storyline to the beautiful way in which it was told. I said the story lives up to its cover, and one of the ways it manages to do that is in the writing. The language it uses is just so eloquent. Every sentence just feels perfectly constructed. It's just beautiful in a way that you don't often come across in YA. Coupled with this is the fact that everything in this story is in the grey area in between. Nothing is simply good or evil, except maybe Lyndon's father, and that's still debatable. I have to read the next book. Generally, though, I think all the characters are really precariously balanced, really realistically balanced. The relationships are all just so complex, especially those between Ryan and her sister brides, between Ryan and her forced husband Lyndon, between Ryan and the servant boy Gabriel. Everything is such a mixed bag of emotions. It's always a tangle of hatred, sympathy, love, everything you can possibly think of. It's a very contemplative book, very thoughtful rather than action-packed, but I think that was perfect for the storyline, perfect to explore this what-if future of short lifespans. But yes, read Wither. I recommend it so wholeheartedly. Anyway, tell me what you think of this book in the comments down below. Does it sound like the kind of book you'd read, or maybe you've already read it? What did you think? In general, how would you live a life if you knew you were going to die at the age of 20 or 25? Would you do anything differently? Would you focus on experience, a child, a career? Let me know down below. Anyway, I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.